AY comments on comedian's involvement with acting. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, your father. Not me, not me, your neighbor, your neighbor. With a steady increase in number, many top Nigerian comedians are now comfortably taking roles in Nollywood. Speaking with Hip TV on a stake on this development, ace comedian, movie producer and entertainment entrepreneur Ayo Makun, best known as AY, shares his thoughts on the reason for this diversification from comedians. We are all in the space of entertainment. Everybody is entitled to do whatever it is that they want to do within the circles of entertainment. So if you see comedians moving into movies, it's as a result of you knowing that some of them have it inside of them by training. And uh, when you see them come out to do what they do, come all out to support them. Yeah, so when you see a comedian come out, you know, and you see them on, t you know, do movies or become producers, executive producers, just know that it's our time for them to probably come and showcase their own talent the way they understand it. Because whether you like it or not, we are all within the circles of entertainment. When asked his thoughts on the tag or publicity is good publicity, AY reiterates his belief in the existence of bad publicity and how its effect depends on personalities and brands' affiliation with entertainers. Oh yes, there's bad publicity. And, uh, in some industry, bad publicity is good publicity. In some industry. But there are some people that bad publicity is bad publicity no matter how you try to cushion or sugarcoat it, it's bad and it's bad. That's why you have the brand start calling the, the talent and start saying that, okay, we're taking our endorsement back, we're doing all of all what me. So, but I always encourage entertainers to do what you know that is right, that will help you sustain your brand name. It's very, very important. Further speaking on his opinion on the existence of age restrictions and segregation in the movie industry, AY sheds more light in a different perspective of how to view what people might refer to as ageism. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't think so. As a matter of fact, uh, there's, there's age grade for everything that has to do with the industry. There was a time that Regina Daniels, you would just accept her as a little baby and give her the role of a little baby. And there were times that you would accept RMD as that lover boy and give him the role of a lover boy. But right now, if you see RMD, you want to appreciate him as a father figure. And then he has grown from that level to becoming a father figure and you appreciate him as that. And then he has left all of that for the likes of Alex Ekubo. He's left all that lover boy for the likes of uh, I.K. Ogbona and uh, Deyemi and the rest of them. So what I'm trying to say is that there's a role for everybody in the industry. If you think you're aging, you'll have people call you as a result of that age bracket, age limit, or what have you. Then if you think you're just coming up or growing, except maybe you're Aki and Popo, and if you're Aki and Popo, they probably will just reduce you to a certain age. And if they're able to deem it fit to take you from that level to another level, your age will tell because people know who you are and what you represent.